and I realized that focusing your love on one person is very dangerous um, because it's like a laser you're gonna blast through a wall and sometimes you'll blast through that person then they'll they'll be destroyed in, in in the relationship sense and they'll run away and you know what did I do you know what have I done in my life I love people so much I've given them my love so much that th that it pushes them away and ultimately I would say this that when you give your love in such a pure way I think it's possible maybe only between two enlightened beings and you know maybe I'll find her and maybe she'll find me where we're at least on the equal level of uh, you know not that Kelly and I weren't you know she's capable of great love and she is amazing but she has she has shadow and darkness as I do I've seen it happen myself when people give me love I, I've been in that spot I know that it happens with me too. But I think what happens is, honestly, and I think we all need to look at this, is that when you blast somebody with your love, it's light. Love is light. And shadow does not like to be illuminated. The ego does not like to be illuminated. And when you blast someone with your love that much, like I've done, I'm sure you've done it too. It they either have to dissolve their pain body or it has to come up and block it. And I feel like that's what happens in a lot of relationships. And so let us just see that we don't have to make any great change. But let us just see that sometimes, I'm not saying this is what happened, but certainly it does happen because I've had experiences where I, I, I do energy healing. I, I'll give someone light or energy, I'll give them, you know, love energy and, and they, they want to lash out at me and they want to they hit me and they want to yell at me and tell me to stop. It's happened several times. I've had it happen several times where I'll just be so illuminated and so lit up and so in my bliss and just sitting next to somebody they feel like they're getting choked because there may be stuck energy in their throat chakra or it might be in their heart or whatever it is you know maybe it's in their th in their solar plexus or one of the lower of chakras that's stuck and the light makes them want to hit and want to lash out I don't know what it is but I do know that um, this whole saying, uh, you can bring a, a single candle into a room full of darkness and it'll light up the room, but you can't bring any amount of darkness into a room of light and have any effect. So if you bring your light to people, and you should, just know that if they reject you, if they if they leave you, if they can't relate to you, it's because the shadow doesn't want resolution. We don't want resolution when we're in our pain body. And not to say that we're in this pain body, but they're interlinked, you know what I mean? We, we, the mind and spirit are linked, but ultimately it's just love. It's just spirit, who we really are. But it gets connected to the mind, and so the mind will engage, and it'll give us all these reasons why we shouldn't connect, why we shouldn't come together. Because, like a good friend of mine said, Joe Ray, um, if you want to heal, the best thing to do is hold each other, and let your energies flow, and intermingle, and balance, and heal, because then... Uh, You'll just have homeostasis between two beings. They've shown that when you touch someone's skin, there's a transfer of electrons, and and, uh, and so when when you hug each other, especially if you touch skin to skin, 
but it doesn't matter. When you hug somebody, your aura is in their aura, and your energies are going to shift and intermingle and heal together and balance. You have no choice. Your your heart chakras are touching. You know they're they're together. All your chakras are together. So I'm going to end this message now, and I am going to invite those who have resistance with me to come and give me a hug and if I have resistance with you I'm going to come give you a hug and just go and hug somebody today tell them you love them just come from that pure place of heart and non-separation and unity and say I love you if someone is getting under your skin just come to them and love them and see what happens just ex just forget all the BS and just love them I love you have a beautiful day